Welcome to the Parenting Podcast today. We're excited because we're doing something just a little bit different today. We have some special guests with us. So Adam and Heidi Hershey are here from Texas this morning, and they're going to be sharing with us some of their parenting wisdom. So we're really excited about that. And so one of the things uh, that we wanted to ask them was about, you know, everybody is everybody has yelled at their kids sometimes but in some oh. <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> I just take it down and out. so in some families though yelling has become the culture yeah and adam and heidi have five wonderful kids of course they're our grandkids so you know we think they're wonderful and which they are but they're doing a really great job of parenting their kids and so i yeah. thought they might have something some wisdom to share with us along the lines of how to avoid a yelling culture in your home so can you share with us some wisdom about that wow thanks for inviting us first of all yeah. onto the uh, podcast and um, i guess my my heart always goes to the verse in scripture in ephesians that says be angry and do not sin uh, you're a parent part of the wonderful journey of parenting is having the opportunity to become frustrated. <laughs> right? So, hey, if you're a parent out there and you've been frustrated this week at your children or at situations, way to go. You're in the game. It's normal. Yes. There is hope, though. There is hope. You know, Scripture tells us be angry and do not sin. So it's, it's not a sin to be angry. It's not a sin to be frustrated. That just means you're human. You're human. So, so that's okay. Uh, but the do not sin part is really where we want to focus on, you know, as a parent. Um, and that, that basically means you're going to have to step back and think about your responsibilities to your children as a parent. Yeah. And when yeah. you yell, you are actually reacting to what just happened. You're not taking a step back and you're separating yourself from the Lord. And what you want to do is become a part of God's team in this discipline, this correction, mm -hmm. and not react out of your own flesh. So it takes some training. It takes a lot of transformation of the mind and washing yourself in the word, listening to some great podcasts um, like this. But if it's a normal part of your culture, you need to take a step back, get in the Word, and figure out what God wants. He does not want you to yell at your children. It changes the whole dynamic of your relationship. Yeah, and I'd say this too. If, if you have a culture right now that uh, when you get frustrated, you yell at your children, and then they yell back, and then you yell louder, and then a spouse walks in the room and says, Why is everybody yelling? <laughs> You have a yelling culture. Uh, if that's your culture, you need to stop. You need to start fresh. And so that means you're going to have to go to your children and reacclimate them to a new way of living. That what you want to do is to communicate the truth to them without raising your voice. I know this can be tough, but you want to do it. So you're going to have to go to your children. You're going to have to apologize to your children which is humbling as a parent it is very because humbling. what they could have been doing is completely wrong. But the way that you treated them by raising your voice and yelling at them is also wrong. In fact, as a parent, you're the one who's supposed to be more responsible in a situation, not making way for them to be irresponsible and yelling at you. If they're yelling at you and you're yelling at them, you created that culture. Yay! <laughs> so what you're going to have to do is to start fresh, have a family meeting, bring them together, explain to them that you've recognized that you've been yelling and that you recognize from Scripture that you're to be angry, but sin not. Okay? Uh, it's okay to be frustrated by situations, but you're not going to be a family that's known as a yelling family. You're not going to yell at one another because um, really that doesn't reflect the goodness of God in your home. It doesn't make way for his presence to be in your home. And you want your home to be a place where the presence of God resides, where it's a safe place for everybody. And so what you're going to say to them is, I'm sorry, I yelled, I shouldn't have yelled. Will you forgive me? And then explain to them basically how we're going to move forward. When we get frustrated and we're tempted to yell, we're going to stop. We're going to take a deep breath. We're going to think about why we're frustrated and then we're going to communicate. Yeah. In Proverbs 29, I want to share this scripture with you. It says, fools vent their anger, but the wise quietly hold it back. 
So you're actually belittling, belittling yourself to a fool when you are venting your anger with your Ooh, children. Man, it's looking <laughs> hot and heavy right now. So we've all been there. We've all been there. The step is to you know, ask for forgiveness when it does happen. But if it's a constant part of your culture, you need to retrain yourself. You need to retrain, work with your spouse if you have one in the home, and retrain yourselves together and use yourselves as a teammate. If I start to yell, he can be in there, Heidi, we need to take a step back. Just stop, and we're going to calm things down. Call a timeout. Call a timeout and work together to communicate with your children where things need to go from there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so thankful for Heidi. Sometimes, you know, when I just get really frustrated and amped up, especially if I have too much coffee in one day, um, <laughs> she'll just say, Adam, I think that might be the coffee talking. Or, <laughs> or Adam, you might need to take a deep breath. And I've learned when Heidi says you might need to take a deep breath, I've already passed that spot where I should have taken a deep breath. So I'd encourage you, you know, if that if you recognize yelling in your home or you you have a tendency to yell, um, first take a deep breath and recognize your responsibility in creating a culture within your children. Great. That's wonderful. Thanks for making us all feel normal <laughs> and giving us tools to overcome those temptations to, to yell. Those are great tools and great information today. Also, I want to give you the website for uh, Adam and Heidi, and you can get a hold of them or look at more of their things on uh, livecompelling.com. Dot org. Dot org. I'm sorry. Yeah. Livecompelling.org. So you can look up and they'll have some great resources there for you as well. So we're glad you listened this week and we'll get back to you next week. See you then.